Hey, beautiful people. How's it going? I am your girl, Hago Teroche. This reading is going to be for those who are in no communication, separation, okay? Doesn't matter how long, how, like, how long y'all been in separation. This is overall just not talking to your person, okay? Like I said, doesn't matter how long that it's been. This is just the energy, okay? Maybe a day, maybe a month, maybe two, three days, you know, I don't know. But Spirit, put this on my heart to do this for y'all, and that's just what we're going to do, okay? So Spirit, what do you have for those who are currently in no communication with their person, no matter how long that it's been? What do they need to know at this time? The person that they're currently in no communication with. The person that the collective is currently in no communication with, separation with at this time. Please bless them with the messages that they want to hear, not what they want to hear. As I do this no contact separation reading. I'm ready. It says they're not happy, tired of faking it. Mm. So if you're not talking to somebody, Coletta, that is letting me know that they're just not happy with this separation right now. They're tired of faking it like they are. Okay, they're tired of acting like they're not okay with not communicating with you and not talking to you. Yeah, look, hate being at odds with you. Somebody here doesn't like when you're mad at them or when y'all are mad at each other. It's just like, damn. Can we get past this already? Like, I don't, I don't want to, I'm here, I don't want to fight with you. Somebody here is like, I, 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 I hate that I have to pretend like I'm okay without you. And I know deep down inside, I'd rather be with you. Some of you, that this person's like, I don't want, want the collective to be mad at me or be upset with me. This is doing everything to win you back. So somebody here is coming in strong. Okay, we got pink cards. So somebody here is in their feelings. They got a lot of love for you. It says got caught on your page. Ooh. Somebody here got caught watching your page. What else we got? Not sleeping too good these days. So somebody here, you're keeping somebody up at night. Now, if that somebody here, if you now this can mean many things that you got. Your homeboy could have caught them. A karmic could have caught them. Okay. But they got caught on your page. I don't know. The bottom of the deck says, here they come telling you more lies. Stuck on stupid, the karmic. Whole world is falling apart. Somebody didn't want to see y'all together. Let's start with this first. So, can you help me clarify these messages, please? Please help me clarify this. For the collective. This is they're not happy, tired of faking it. Yeah, somebody here could be trying to like, your person could be trying to breathe and let go. Okay, especially if they know they don't have you right now. Yeah, they could be having nightmares. That's probably why they're not sleeping good these days. They could be very paranoid. But this is the life that they chose to, lo to, to lose, I'm hearing. So hopefully somebody don't lose their life. But this is the life that they chose. The life they chose, okay? There's somebody here who wanted to be greedy and, and, and sleep around and mess around. And now they feel like they're drowning. Some of you, somebody here could, got, could, could have something. They wanted it by any means necessary. And now look at them drowning. Mm -mm -mm. They're not happy, tired of faking it. Yeah. This person may have not may not have any peace right now. Especially if y'all are at on bad terms. They're not communicating. This person definitely feels like um they're tired of faking it. Yeah, somebody here feels very hopeless in this connection. They could be depressed, could be that at the bottom okay 
because they wanted to catch thrills and make bad decisions and now look where it got them. Now they make it, they gotta pay the consequences for the mind games, for the bad choices they tried, tried to make. Yep, for being a narcissist. Now they're somewhere longing for you, missing you, wanting to talk to you. So let's get some more clarity here. Spirit, can you give me some clarity? On this no contact reading. Yeah, somebody here was very deceptive, very sneaky. It says, they're not happy, tired of faking it. Recharge and harmony in reverse. They're not happy, tired of faking it. Yeah, somebody here wants a second chance to do, or they will come in here asking you for a second chance. They're hoping that things will be successful when they do choose to come back towards you. Could be a Leo. They're not happy, tired of faking it. Yeah, this this could have been a painful ending. Could be a Gemini. It's like they have a deep calling to know that they need to like reevaluate what they've been thinking and feeling. Why does this person with feel like they don't have no balance, no happiness, not not at peace right now? Could be a Libra, because I feel like they they try to be strong and not really think about much of the connection, but they know they owe you an apology. There's somebody here who knows they did you wrong. That's why they're not happy, and they're, and they're tired of faking it. Yep, somebody here about to take a leap of faith towards you to see if you want to be in some type of relationship, if, if you be open to committing to them. Mm -mm. But they, they already feel hopeless, especially dealing with a karmic. Why does this person hate being at odds with the collective? Because I feel like the time, time passes. It's like, for some of you, they have to stay busy to keep you off their mind. It's like, with you, it feels like this person is just never, like, there. It's always feeling like it's a delay. It's feeling like they have to procrastinate. This person just feels like they're not ever motivated. Hate being at odds with the collective. Mm-hmm. Because they got to go deal with these karmics and, and deal with people that they really don't even want to be involved with, but they don't want to possibly feel alone. Yeah. It's, it just brings more chaos into their life. Everything just feel like a down a downhill because they would rather work on things with you and have a second chance with you and move forward. But it's like, how many more chances do I got to give you? When are you going to finally wake up and see what you got in front of you? Hate being at odds with the collective. Yeah. Because it seems like y'all always are ending. It's always an ending. Because of their bullshit. Because they want to be out here giving to other people. Being a player. Hate being at odds with the collective. Time and karmic. I feel like you know this person hate being at odds with you. They, like I said, they do things to keep themselves busy, to possibly try to be a, a better person and put that time and work in. Because I feel like, like I said, this person they love you. They're in love with you. So they know if they want to protect this union, they're gonna have to step up and communicate and take that that leader, be that man, play that role, be that woman. Hate being at odds with the collector. Because I feel like y'all are supposed to be a family. Y'all are supposed to, like, be happy. Y'all are supposed to, like, you're this person's happily ever after. Could be a Pisces. But it feels like y'all just can never just move past whatever they be out here doing. Like, tell me about doing everything to win the cluster of life. Somebody here, they feel like they're going to do it by any means necessary. They don't want nobody to have you. Doing everything to win the collective back. Because somebody here to, is wanting to take some time. They're tired. Somebody, like I said, they're tired of acting like they're not happy when they're, when they're not. 
They're trying to act, act like they have to go be happy with somebody else to make you upset or, or get up under your skin. They're tired of just feeling alone. They're tired of being in this lustful energy. Mm. Yeah, somebody here is just with somebody for, for greed, for lust. They know that can get it by any means. They're very inconsiderate with whoever this, these other people are, these karmics are. And that's why they'd rather just be with you and do right by you. And they don't have to go worry about rebuilding with anybody else. Doing everything to win the collective back. Okay, come tell me. It could be a statue because it, it's, it feels like a burden. Whatever they're in right now, whatever they're doing, they're not happy. It's too much. It's, it, they don't like it. Some of you that know you're doing good without them. You got your head on straight. You look good. You don't need them. You're in, very independent. You're very self-sufficient. You know what you want. Some of you got your own place, your own car, your own... Like, you don't need this person for nothing. And that's why it's for you. It's so easy for you to walk away because you're like, I, I got my own. I don't need you for nothing. But tell me about this spirit. Got caught on the collector's page. What is this about? Somebody here got caught on your page and it makes somebody realize that they're following their dreams to be with you and running from that, from that connection. Got caught on the collector's page. Yeah, toxic in reverse. This is my here who realize they don't want to argue with you. They don't want to fight with you. Yeah, somebody here is very hopeful. They're longing, missing you, wanting to talk to you, be in a union with you. They want to nurture the connection. They want to care for you. Says got caught on the collector's page. Got caught on the collector's page. One more. Yep. It made somebody feel like they want to come back or that they are coming back towards you. Yeah. The truth was exposed. And somebody was still stuck on you. Your past person. It's like they got this new passion for you, like they can't give up on this connection. Yep, somebody, the person taking a leap of faith towards you. Either they got caught or they're about to get caught on your page. Got caught on the collector's page. Yep, and something about to come to an end. Because they, they can't stop watching you. Yep, <laughs> with a third party. So this person, like I said, they're very hopeful. They're longing for you. Some of you, I'm hearing, you make or break somebody's relationship. So if your person's at odds with you, boom, everything is beautiful that way. But if your person is not and wanting you back, then, then shit gets thrown up in flames. That's what I'm hearing. Not sleeping too good these days. Because you're that person, soulmate. Being without their soulmate in this world can feel kind of scary. They love the friendship, how, how, how romantic you are. Not sleeping too good these days. Because mm -hmm. you're rejecting them. They feel isolated. And that's that's some some a different type of pain. Is not sleeping too good these days. Yeah, somebody here hid secrets from you about messing around with uh, somebody else. Okay, they, they hid, hid secrets from you. They had a secret agenda. Some of you, they really weren't out here getting it like out, getting it like they, like you thought they were. Could be a Taurus, Pisces. Some of you are trying to fight like for this hope, 
that y'all can work on things. So that could be an issue right there. They want to rush ahead towards you, but they know that they may, may get re rejected by you. They possibly know they've already missed an opportunity to make things right. Their faith could be tested right now. Okay. But what does this person need to let the collective know? Hate being without you. I'm sorry. Please don't reject me. There it is. I'll never leave you again. Be mine again, please. Social media message. I told y'all, so if they got caught on your page, tell me you may end up getting a message from this person. Have, have my babies. A lot of blows. Somebody could be in their feelings. I'm going to be better for you. I'm going to step it up for you. FaceTime call. Somebody may try to FaceTime call you or video call you on social media. Look, masturbate into you. I plan to do it better this time. So there's a lot of blues here. Yeah, you may view this person as a player or a hoe. We have something in common. Give me two more. I can't get over you. I'm always down to see you. And bottom of the deck is stuck on you. So the overall energy could be that they're stuck on you. And since y'all are like broken up and in a no contact, pull y'all some news. They were abusive, so some of you could experience some type of DV from this person. Okay. So it says yearning for your love. So this person is definitely yearning for you, but see, they were inconsistent. So it's like, well, you don't, you didn't have to, you don't have to yearn for me. We could have been able to work on things, you know. Oh my goodness. Says you will see them soon, and we got they were manipulating you. Yeah, it's like this person's telling you what you wanted to hear. They know what type of female or type of male you were, so it's like they felt like they can get over on you. Bottom of the deck says temporary separation, so some of you won't be separated from this person for too much longer. Give me two, no, give me three more. So bottom of the deck, once again, was they were hiding things, okay? It says resolving issues. So there's a chance that y'all two may resolve y'all issues. It says they're waiting for you. So somebody will be waiting to hear from you. But for some of you, you're going to be in the one that got away. That's something they're going to have to deal with, okay? So that's what I have for y'all collective. Thank y'all so much for tuning in, and I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.